I, I don't know where I've, I, I am yet, but maybe in the summer I'll think back and go, oh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Academy Award nominee Rachel McAdams is making her Broadway debut in Amy Herzog's play, Mary Jane, which is directed by Annie Kaufman. And I caught up with the company just minutes after their opening night curtain rang down. This has been a whirlwind for you. We spoke very early on. I think it was like your third day of rehearsal. This was all so new for you. And you are now officially a stage animal. And I love that. What, what have you enjoyed the most about working on this? What's made it so special? Uh, for me, it's been the people I've been working with, the amazing cast of women that I get to go to play with every day. Um, they're all incredible and kind and um, patient with me. <laughs> Um, and we've learned so much since I saw you last. I mean, it's been like a whole lifetime has been lived in, you know, a matter of months. So, um, yeah, I, I've, I feel like a different person from when I met you last. Yeah, yeah. It's always a, such a gift to have the writer in the room with you. Um, you know, to be able to ask questions, you know, what exactly is this and what was this meant to be? And um, and her and Annie work so closely together as a team. So it's a really well-oiled machine and there's so much warmth and collaboration in it. And uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't have asked for more. Yeah, yeah. And just what you're enjoying the most about being on Broadway and just doing theater, what it's meant to you. Uh, it's such a living, breathing thing. Uh, it changes every night, and um, I never quite know what's coming my way, and there's just something so um, uh, alive about that. <laughs> um, so I feel like I've really become quick on my feet and, uh, and learned to be in the moment more than ever before. Uh, so yeah, and, and you just find each other as a family and a team every night and there's just something so beautiful about all working towards the same um, goal, which is a really important one I think in terms of telling this story. And we all just get in there and there's no ego and you know, we just let it fly and see how it goes. What's made Mary Jane so special for you? Um, it's a personal story and uh, the Amy Herzog is just a beautiful, beautiful playwright. And Annie Kaufman is someone I've admired for a really long time. And for this to be the project that marries all of us is just a beautiful experience. It's the best use of my intellect and my heart. And it's teaching me some life stuff about how to show up for people um, in a way that's real. And I, there's just no limit to what I could learn. I could run this play for seven years and still find stuff in it. What's made this so special? You worked on so many beautiful shows with so many beautiful companies. What's made this so special? Amy's text, Amy's play. It is, I think, more necessary now in some way than it has been for years because of what we all have been through as a community and as, you know, a couple or alone. What we've been through is very present in this and it has heart and it has warmth and it's about celebrating, I think, the care that we have for one another as human beings. Well, this has been special because I started with the play in 2017 at New York Theatre Workshop. The incredible artistic director there, Jim Nicola, you know, he took a not a huge risk because we all know that Amy is an incredible talent, but he took a risk on the play and and it really paid off. And I didn't know that it would come back, let alone come back to Broadway and that I would still be a, a part of, of the storytelling. I'm so grateful, you know. The story itself lends itself to all of us taking care of each other. So the community that we built so quickly, I think when, when we first talked about Mary Jane, we were only a few days in and we already felt like such a tight knit squad, like a family. And um, yeah, that's, I, that's what I'm carrying with me through all this. <laughs> I want to talk about your dynamite cast you put together for this production, especially with Rachel McAdams, who I just call a stage animal now. I mean, it's gonna be in her DNA forever. What it's been like having her in the room and the other cast members. I mean, having her in the room um, is just incredibly easy because she's um, the most collaborative, kindest, most generous soul 
That there is, um, and uh, so there. It just felt from the beginning like she's she's one of our cast, um, and she is Mary Jane, um, and she brought this beautiful spirit. And having the other cast members in the show who have done the show before, what this meant to sort of blending the casts. Yeah, um, well, yeah, so we had Brenda Wheel um, and Susie Porfar, who did the Play With Us at New York Theatre Workshop, who are absolutely incredible. And then these two brilliant new women, Lily Santiago and April Mathis. Um, and uh, I, I, I'm sure it was a credit to Annie. They all just cohered immediately. There was no sense of, like, the last production and this, you know, we were making something, we were making a new production for this much bigger theatre um, and with a different Mary Jane. And um, it was just, uh, like warm, lovely group of women who um, who cared about the story they were telling. Annie, for you, working with Rachel McAdams, introducing her to the stage, and working with this cast. You know, I will have to say, we, we have never had the same cast in all three productions, and I feel like there's something really magical about this play, and it sort of invites all sorts of women into the fold, and so it feels like a continuation of of the previous productions and at the same time totally totally new rachel it's it's i mean it's what amy said she is mary jane it was like she she was part of our family immediately um we she made us a family i think of sisters and including uh the rest of the cast i mean the rest of the cast is just everyone i mean it's it, you credited me but i have to credit the play i mean it's about women taking care of women i mean there's the conflict is not within the it, within the play it's without it's without it's outside of the play so it's just really, uh, it's, a, it's an incredible tool, actually, for people to come together.